नाउ लेट्स मूव टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन क्वेश्चन नंबर सेवेंटी फोर लेट आई सफिक्स एन इक्वल्स इंटीग्रल ऑफ टेन एक्स होल टू द पावर एन डी एक्स एन ग्रेटर देन वन इफ आई फोर प्लस आई सिक्स इक्वल्स ए टेन एक्स होल टू द पावर फाइव प्लस बी एक्स टू द पावर फाइव प्लस सी वे आर सी इज ए कॉन्स्टेंट ऑफ इंटीग्रेशन देन द ऑर्डर पेयर ए कॉमा बी इज इक्वल टू सो लेट अस स्टार्ट विद द सोल्यूशन यू नीड टू सिंपली पुट एन इक्वल्स फोर एंड एन इक्वल सिक्स एंड द क्वेश्चन कैन बी सॉल्व इन थ्री टू फोर स्टेप्स सो लेट अस बिगिन विद द सोल्यूशन so i4 plus i6 they are in the suffix is equal to integral tan to the power 4 x dx plus integral of tan x whole to the power 6 dx right and we can write it as integral tan x whole to the power 4 Plus tan x whole to the power six dx, and this can be written as integral. Let us take common tan x whole to the power four. So we are left with one plus tan square x dx, right? And what is one plus tan square x? It is six square x. So let us write it down. Integral of tan x whole to the power four. It is six square x dx. And let us take tan x equals tan x equals t. So what will be the derivative on both sides? It will be six square x dx. Is equal to dt. Equals dt, right? So our integral reduced to the integral is reduced to t to the power four dt, which is simply equals t to the power five upon five plus c. So simply put t as tan x. So tan x whole to the power five upon five plus c. And let us compare with the given form. So, what is a? A will be equal to one by five, and b is equal to zero. So, which option is correct? So, the ordered pair a comma b will be one by five comma zero. This will be the required ordered pair. So, correct answer will be option one. So, option one is correct. A is one by five, b is zero. So, option one is correct. option 1 now let's move to the next question question number 75 which is a question from definite integral we have to evaluate this definite integral within the limits pi by 4 to 3 pi by 4 dx upon 1 plus cos x so let us do it let us denote the given definite integral by capital i it is integral Pi by four to three pi by four. They are the limits. It is dx upon one plus cos x. Let us multiply and divide by one minus cos x, and let's see what happens. Let us multiply and divide by one minus cos x. So this will become one minus cos x. It is one minus cos square x. We are multiplying and dividing by one minus cos x. It is dx. So this is equal to integral pi by four to three pi by four one minus cos x upon sine square x dx. Right. So this can be written as integral. Within the given limits, pi by four to three pi by four, one by sine square x is cos x square x minus cos x by sine square x can be written as cot x into cos x dx. And we have the standard results for this integral, 
that is integral of cosec square x dx is minus cot x and the value of integral cot x cosec x dx is minus cosec x so minus and minus will become plus cosec x and the limits are pi by 4 to 3 pi by 4 so if you solve it the value will be minus cot 3 pi by 4 is minus 1 right cosec 3 pi by 4 that means in the second quadrant cosec x will be positive that is cosec pi minus pi by 4 that is cosec pi by 4 right that is root 2 minus minus cot pi by 4 is minus 1 plus cosec pi by 4 is root 2 so just expand it so it is 1 plus root 2 plus 1 minus root 2 so root 2 and root 2 are getting cancelled the correct answer is 2 so which option for this question option 1 so the correct answer is option 1 option 1 option 1 is correct